So hello everyone. Uh, so today, so today we have a very special guest with us, uh, Dr. Ramya. So uh, she has uh, recently secured uh, rank five in the recent concluded INISS. Uh, to uh, tell a bit about her, basically she did her MBBS from Stanley Medical College and then she did her MD in anesthesia from PGH and Right, Ramya? And then, uh, this is her first, and this is her first attempt in uh, critical care. So. Uh, so tell me about your uh, background, Dr. Rami, and why did you choose uh, critical care as a specialty? Or why do you want to specialize in critical care? So basically from my school days itself, before joining MBBS and all, I, did, I don't have any idea about critical care at all. But from childhood, I have this idea of becoming an ICU doctor. In school days, I am aware of this word only. I have to become an ICU doctor. And once entering, once after entering into the MBBS, then I came to know that there is some branch called critical care medicine, but at the initial stage. So once I initiated uh, rank was uh, released, I, my rank was not a, a enough to get into the medicine core branch. But after discussing with my seniors, I got to know that with the anesthesia uh, MD also, we can get into critical care. So I chose anesthesia as a PG group. Uh, PG. And then after entering into PGMR, I came to know the uh, critical care uh, in detail. And I should thank my PJ faculties to keep my interest on critical care alive. And that's all. Right. And uh, so obviously when you were preparing for the DM entrance or for the INISS, so um, what are the uh, sources that you're depending on and how did uh, MADO help you in terms of your preparation? for uh, this exam? Actually, Marrow was my main source. Apart from that, I brought a PG and uh, university exam itself, we read from uh, Washington only. So we had a basic idea about Washington and from Paul Marino also, we read some topics. Uh, uh, regarding this PG, INISS entrance, my main source was Marrow only. Apart from that, I used to see YouTube videos from uh, Pradeep Rangapasar's lectures and uh, from Eng India Intensivist channels. I used to follow these channels also. And for mm -hmm. MCQ, I used to do go the extra mile app, critical care MCQ app. That's called a go the extra mile. It's mainly for AD, AD exams, but it's useful for INSS also. Right. Um, so in terms of your, like, you, how, what was your preparation? What was your plan in terms of the videos? Would you just watch the videos uh, or would you make notes yourself? Or would you just depend on the notes that Maro had given you? So how was uh, like the marrow videos, how did they help you in terms of your preparation? So what was your approach towards the videos? In watching videos only, I used to take notes uh, side by side. Right. Taking notes and, and uh, I used to finish the MCQ also immediately after the video. I right. took one month break after my MD. So in that one month break, I used to do so many of the videos. I, used to, I completed most of the videos. And after entering to the SRC, I, I was practicing only MCQs mainly and revising the those notes which I took in the one month. Right. And did you appear for the Mano mock tests as well? Were they like, helpful in terms of your preparation? Or did you just more focus on uh, uh, brushing up your theory as well as uh, the rest of the stuff? I attended the mock exams also, but the last mock exam, which was conducted before the main INISS, I, I couldn't attribute due to hectic schedule in the PGA. Before mm -hmm. that, I used to, I attended all those previous mock exams and previous year questions, recall everything. Right. And so in terms of your preparation, like if somebody, obviously there would be future aspirants as well, right? Who would be aiming to specialize in the same speciality and who would be basically willing to get a good rank. So for them, what would, you, would be your advice in terms of preparing for INISS, both in terms of, because this is a uh, two-stage exam, right? So you have to first appear for the uh, MCQs, and then obviously if you get a good score in the MCQs, then subsequently appear for the interviews, right? Mm -hmm. So both in terms of theory, as well as in terms of uh, the further interview, um, obviously these two would have some different strategies. So if you could just explore, you told me a bit about the theory aspect, but both the things, if you could just elaborate on that. So for theory part, I will suggest mainly to for uh, postgraduates who are studying their MD now that they should read about, they should read uh, Paul Merino and Washington first. They should build their basics from Washington before watching any other platform, either, either it is YouTube or Maro, whatever. They should build their basics from textbooks such as Washington and Paul Merino. Those protocols they should be familiar with. Then only they will be able to get the extra edge from the Maro without building the basic from textbooks and from 
general icu wars uh, icu rounds which they are supposed to attend after these all these things if they uh, try to get extra extra marrow it will be useful yeah. rather than depending so as a whole source right and what about uh, like that's very valid because at the end of the day you need to have some sort of a textbook critical uh, knowledge and textbook knowledge if you are working in the issue that helps because just yes, uh, sitting back and uh, just reading stuff sometimes you are not able to correlate it with the clinical aspect sure. clinical is also important and obviously if you are interested in clinical care it is expected that you are going to work in some issue or other so whichever you are issue working that clinical work that you do sometimes it adds up to the uh, lacuna that you might otherwise have just by reading theory or by just watching videos uh, so and obviously this is the theory aspect so in terms of uh, preparing for the practical exams so practical exams would be like a interview right so what was yes, your sir. strategy how was it different appearing for the uh, interviews in the second stage in the interview there is i think friends that with conference whatever you have read they will ask the same questions only right for me it was from one topic and from acute liver failure and from regarding regarding pregnancy right if you are basic is strong then you can clear the interview right okay so they won't ask any extra questions right uh, so uh, the other thing i wanted to ask you was regarding um, uh, like now you have got a rank 5 so which institute you are planning to join and uh, what is your future plan in terms of uh, intensive care so you have a preference for a particular institute that you are planning to join and my first choice was aims delhi with rank 5 i am not sure whether i will get it or not and my next option is jipmer sir near by my home town so i am preferring to take it there um so uh, in terms of since i'm basically a marrow faculty for the last two years and i've been taking all these lectures so um what could be and since you have also watched some of these lectures as part of your preparation and maybe prepared for some of the tests as well so how do you think we can improve or what are the things that marrow can improve going forward um for for somebody who is appearing or somebody who is uh, aspiring to be a um do a specialization in intensive care or appearing for some of these exams what are the things that you think that we can improve sir we can add some recall part also sir because it is for the rest of the subjects like nephrology and pulmonary medicine and gastroenterology i got to see that recall questions was there but in the critical care medicine it was missing it was very difficult for us to collect the questions from seniors from other college from other institutes so it will be useful for us if you faculties uh, yourself are are in, uh, get it and uh, explain it in a better way uh, so one of the problems with critical care as a recall as you would know that till this year for neat ss at least not for ini but for neat ss it used to be a medicine uh, this thing it came came under the medicine group and so basically the okay. questions from critical care per se was very less uh, most of the questions were being asked for medicine i'm not talking about ini ss but for neat ss but also this year onwards as you know there has been a change in the notification and now the questions are going to be from critical care exclusively so in those cases we will have a better question bank going forward and this is something that will definitely take positively and maybe i'll be happy adding some recall videos as well so did you use uh, like maro or uh, maro as a resource for like um, during your residency as well or was it that only after you completed residency you started uh, using those no, videos actually maro came uh, once we enter into the 6th sem only during our exam preparation we got to know that maro has introduced anesthesia residency program so in the yeah. last minute today with preparing for the previous year questions paper we were not we didn't get enough time to use the prop app properly so we were not able to use it for our exams yeah. and for our residency also yeah because obviously you have done your md from a good institute like you have done it from a central institute pgi chandigarh which obviously like i did my did in my md from mcl and which has basically a very good academic program most of the central institutes but for people who are maybe not doing it from a central institute sometimes their academic program is also not that good so in those cases obviously sometimes it also helps them even during their residency that is my feeling that the thing the feedback that i tend to get when i um, interact with some of the students from now most of my juniors are using it so i heard from that that it is very useful Okay. we are not okay. we didn't get the opportunity okay. to use it in our residency but nonetheless even without that you have done ex ex exceeding level and you have got a good rank and probably you're going to stay close to the house or close to your home which at the end of the day is the thing that i think in the long run it matters as much staying close yes. to, because all you have been away from home for for for, for some yes, time yes almost 3 years and in india you'll get some warmer weather maybe in 
Pondicherry, right? Yes. Very cool weather. Yeah. So uh, thank you, thank you, uh, Ramya, for joining, and thank I would like to congratulate you again uh, personally thank as well as on behalf. I do wish that uh, you uh, pursue critical care and you whatever goals you have in terms of critical care, uh, you achieve those, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll meet in some conferences in future, sure. maybe in some national conferences, and. Uh, uh, and obviously, in, in any case, if you have any doubts or anything that you want to ask, you can just uh, uh, get my number from Dr. Yogesh, or maybe you can uh, tag me on social media. Uh, whatever I can help, I'll be happy to help you in your journey. So, congratulations yes. once again, Dr. Yogesh. It was great talking to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. It was my pleasure with my attend. It was my pleasure to attend this interview with you. Yeah, with my fact. You are the star. <laughs> Sir, you are the star. It's Thank our privilege. Thank you so much. Thank you.